Well, hats off to Purdue. Uh, tough environment to come into. And, uh, you know, probably didn't shoot the ball as well as they have been in the past. And, uh, you know, give them credit. That's what really good teams do. They find a way when it's not their day in a tough environment and they're able to get the job done. So, for our guys, played really hard. For our guys really competed for the most part. Um, you know, we're going to catch 22 in there with a big, big fella. He's just a hard, he's a, he's a tough cover, especially for our, <clears throat> our guys in terms of the size differential. But we battled. We gave ourselves a chance to win the game. And like I told the team after, was very disappointed we didn't come through. You know, our last two minutes, um, we squandered possessions, uh, especially offensively. And we can't do that in a big game like this against that type of team and make you pay. And um, so for us, we have to have short-term memory loss. Uh, we'll be on a plane tomorrow in Columbus. We're playing Tuesday night against another ranked team. So, you know, we're going to have to be ready to roll on the road against, uh, you know, obviously a team that's been sitting home here for a few days waiting on us. And, uh, and they're having a great year as well. Questions? Coach, uh, one of the best perimeter shooting teams in the country, but you guys really seem to take that away from them today for the most part and uh, play them toe to toe and kind of just giving Haas, let him have his, and but taking away the three. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we didn't do a good enough job um, in our post coverages. You know, at times it was trying to stay in between him and the basket and make him earn tough baskets. At times when we trap, when we post trap tonight, it really cost us. I mean, it really cost us. Um, our perimeter guys were completely, uh, you know, non-existent on post traps. I think they probably scored nine points on us just on our, so we couldn't establish a rhythm to be able to continue to post trap. We weren't good enough at it. And that hurt us. We, ne we needed to be able to do that more against him. Uh, we gotta go back to work on that a little bit. Uh, from a three-point perspective, you know, they've been shooting the ball at such an unbelievable level that at some level, you know, you probably hope the numbers would come back. They missed some good ones. But I thought for the most part, our guys did a pretty good job of being on shooters and challenging shots when we could. Talked about squandering opportunities in the last two minutes. Do you attribute that to rushing or, or what, what was the problem? You know, it's just an organization. And, um, you know, you put it on me last two minutes. Uh, probably should have gotten ourselves in a couple timeout situations where we could have helped our team. You know, uh, you know Purdue's obviously very tough to, to score on anyway, but, you know, Rob had a tough finish. I thought that was rushed. Uh, we had a turnover in transition on, on a ball screen. And, uh, and then, you know, late in the game, where Rob had a, a, a curl and a drive where, where he ended up losing. So those, those plays, you know, you could put those maybe on me. I should have had our guys maybe a little bit more organized in the last couple minutes, call a timeout, just make sure we get a shot. And uh, we didn't do that. That killed us. Edwards had 19, 13 in the second half. Did he change anything about maybe what he was trying to do offensively? I thought in the first half, you know, clearly he was around the perimeter. Um, he's been shooting the ball really well from three. He had some good looks that didn't go. Second half, he was much more of a driver, much more of a physical presence on the glass in the post. They put him up against, uh, you know, our forwards at times, and, and he made some really good drives. And, uh, you know, he's, you know, maybe – Player of the year in the league, you know. To be honest with you, it's as important as he's been to their team, and he's a great, he's a great, uh, great competitor. But uh, I thought for the most part we, we hung in there pretty good. A couple of their other guys, we didn't we didn't let them get off as much. Um, especially you look at like Matthias and Edwards; those guys didn't kill us uh, from three uh, like they had been coming into the game. So, but the big fellow was the difference. I mean, he neutralizes the game, and Mac does an unbelievable job of just getting him the ball where he doesn't need to do a whole lot to catch and score. He's so big, so. Um, and we knew that coming in, that was going to be a problem. Freddie had some nice finishes and guarded Haas for long stretches too. What did you see from him today? Was Freddie, that kind of Freddie, Freddie, Freddie did a really good job. You know, he played strong. Obviously, I thought he battled undersized a little bit, but I thought he really competed. He battled. Um, and then from an offensive perspective, he gave us some great activity on the offensive glass with some taps and a couple finishes. So Freddie, Freddie really came and helped us today. He's going to need to. Uh, I think Colin will probably be out for an extended period of time, so we're going to need to move J-Mo back, you know, maybe to the small forward position and have Freddie in there a little bit more with Justin. Coach, what are some positive takeaways you have in the board, especially playing Ohio State, Michigan State in the upcoming week? Positive? Yeah. About today's game? Yeah. Or just, just we competed. Yeah, and like in general, like. Well, it's a good time. Really this, well. is, this is February. You know, it's February. You're playing against the best teams in your conference. And, uh, you know, the stage is big. I thought, you know, we rose to the occasion in front of an amazing crowd at our disposal tonight. And guys really competed, played hard, and fought. 
And that's all you can ask for right now. I mean, as you get ready to go into another gauntlet, like we're going to go Sunday, Tuesday, Saturday, Monday, four games in about eight days, you just really have to little time to practice so what you're relying on is film and energy and you know doing a better job of of teaching you know through some days where you're not going to work a whole lot on the floor but without question i thought we played extremely hard i think you're looking at a team that understands playing against this type of competition level what you have to do and i don't think anybody left the arena tonight and said those guys didn't bring it i, mean, I thought we played really really hard today so that's the positive you know the, the disappointing thing is it's about winning True. Or should I follow up on Colin, when did you know he couldn't play and how long do you think he'll be out? Uh, you know, he had a, a, an awkward landing in practice yesterday towards the end. It uh, really wasn't a foul or anything, just an awkward landing on a catch. And I think more than anything, he got nervous. And, uh, you know, just going through the docks and the checkups and what and whatnot, you know, we'll leave it as a lower leg injury that's probably going to take him some time here. Um, you know, hopefully not more than a couple weeks, but uh, I, I suspect he'd probably be out uh, moving in probably to this next couple games, especially being having to play uh, in such short order um, with recovery time. So we've got to be careful with him, uh, but I do think he'll be back. Coach, not, not to be the dead horse kind of a subject, but the free throw shooting, yeah. it kind of went away. Just got to keep working. Two games, it's really it's cost us. I mean, it's really hurt us, uh, really hurt us at Illinois. And again, even tonight, you know, you're in a one point game with about two minutes to go and you leave seven at the board. We just got to keep working at it. It's one thing not to dwell on, just keep working at it putting our guys in situations where they're, they're clearly practicing them the right way and they're, and they're getting in there. And, um, yeah, but it's, it's frustrating. You, you know, you, you got guys that, you know, go to the line every day and practice and make them, and then in the game, it just becomes that first miss sometimes, I think, gets everybody a little bit edgy. But uh, uh, definitely hurts. Rob's had a game where he's kind of struggled to get it going this year, but he came out pretty surged tonight. What did you notice about the way he came out? Ron's really ready to play. He's a great leader, wants to do well, wants our team to do well. He's about all the right things. And I thought he set the tone very early on how aggressive he was going to be. Uh, he made big shots. He made tough shots for us uh, throughout the game. His defense for 36 minutes was really, really good. I thought he really battled defensively. I mean, you know, to me, Rob's a, he's an Iron Man for us. So I think he's just a senior who's been doing things uh, you know, the right way. And I think that he just wants to finish as strong as he can. And, uh, you know, watching him today, I thought he did a great job. You know, he did another great job. We'll need him, you know, as we keep coming to play big minutes uh, down the stretch against some of these teams. Um, with Colin out in there tonight, uh, all your starters logged really big, big minutes. How yeah. are you pleased with the way you guys responded to that, and how does that kind of affect the impact the uh, short turnaround coming up? It's, it's, it's about recovery. Um, you know, we have – quick turnaround as you said the Tuesday night we also have to be Saturday Monday so but tonight you know really stuck with I thought a group that was really competing you know our front court rotation is really slim when you when you take a guy out but you know I thought the guys did a really good job they logged heavy minutes but I thought we had a good group out there they had good chemistry for the most part and uh, we kind of stuck a little bit with those guys we tried to use our bench as much as possible Last couple of weeks, Rob's really kind of steadied his game, but guys like Josh and Devontae are still kind of up and down. I mean, how, how do you kind of ride the highs and lows of them at this point? We're 22 games in. We've been riding it for 22 games, so we'll just keep trying to make them better, keep trying to get guys to play uh, at their best ball at the right time, which February is when you want to start to, you know, find guys in the rhythm. But um, no question, consistency and, and uh, productivity, you know, from our guards, that's been something that when we've had it, we've been good. And, uh, you know, obviously Rob answered the bell today. Uh, we didn't get much scoring from anyone else. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully as the games continue to pound, we'll, we'll get some guys that can, you know, give us better minutes. But uh, it's been an issue all year is just, you know, consistent, consistent play, you know, what you're getting. And, you know, for the most part, we were pretty good in that area tonight. But uh, we just got to find more guys playing their best at the right time of the year, like I said. And part of it is, uh, you got to learn from this, but you got to move on quick and got to get ready for Tuesday. All right, coach. Thank you. Thank you.